Hey everybody, it's me, TJ, and I have not fallen off the face of the earth. And I really couldn't believe when I saw it's been two months since I've um, made a video. And pretty much it's been about that long since I've really watched any videos on YouTube. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, I'm dealing with allergies for some reason these last couple of days. If it's not a horse throat, it's sniffles, so anyway. Um, just time flies when I'm, when you're having fun, like they say, and, um, I've just been doing, doing my thing, you know, nothing exciting, just day in, day out stuff, and <clears throat> winding up the school year, it's officially summertime here for all the kiddos out of school, so I'm excited about that, and, um, just a few things that I have been up to. I Nothing exciting, like I say, just um, stuff that I have to do or want to do, things that catch my eye and my interest. Um, gardening. Every year, every spring, summer, I plant seeds and hope to have a, a garden with vegetables and this and that and the other. And since I'm not much of an outdoors girl, and it gets so hot down here, I just, I don't know, the poor things, they don't get enough water and nothing really much ever comes of it. I'm pretty good with certain herbs. I mean, if it if it can live with, um, without a lot of pampering, then it, it can survive me. But this year, um, I've really made an attempt to, I know it's just logic, go out twice a day and check on them and water them and so far so good but we'll see how it goes once the true heat um, settles in if it hasn't already <laughs> anyway um, let's see in March um, we've had birthdays we've had graduations and um, or at least one graduation that I can think of um, March we um, Ari and I took a little road trip to Louisiana to visit my son for his birthday and of course that was also during the spring break time. It all kind of fell around the same week um, and we enjoyed that and last month um, we all took a road trip to Corpus to um, attend my brother's graduation from nursing school. Um, he's always got a new goal ahead of him, which is, um, that's great. I'm proud of him for, you know, he's been a firefighter for years and done the EMT. I don't know if he's still doing that or not, but anyway, he's always got another goal out there that he's pursuing and he did complete the nursing. Um, and I think his goal is to do traveling nursing at some point, but his new goal, he said, is to study for, I can't remember if it's the captain or the chief lic license or certificate. I, I feel bad that I can't remember what he said, but um, so I guess he's going to try to take that next step within the fire department, which is, I'm proud of him for that. He's my little brother. Um, not so little, but younger brother. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we also, um, uh, my daughter just turned 17, good lord, I cannot believe my baby, my youngest is like a year away from being a legal adult, and, uh, I don't know, it's just hard to believe, and she cut my hair, she's, um, just finished her first year in cosmetology, she's, uh, I think I've mentioned it before, she's been fortunate enough to take cosmetology in, um, her last two years of high school so the only bad thing about which isn't too bad just with gas prices and everything is um, the school she's at that offers it is a little drive away and I mean she could take the bus but it would just be a very very long day for her and I don't know we just decided I would take her and pick her up and you know just the sacrifices you have to make sometimes being a parent. Um, 
let's see what else um i'm uh, my oldest son his birthday is coming up at the end of this month and goodness oh, he's on the other side he's heading toward his 30s it's just crazy i can only imagine how my mother feels with her oldest being heading toward her 50s so anyway that's <laughs> life life is just so interesting and gets more interesting as time goes by i mean not in the wild adventurous sense but just in those reflective type areas you know where you start thinking back on life and you realize wow you know anyway i'm sure you those of you my age can kind of understand what i'm saying with I'll say in a whole lot of words, but um, let's see. Um, we're getting ready. Well, I'm kind of trying to get a head start on Father's Day. Yesterday, I um, bought my husband a Nora Jones CD. I want to say album. Good Lord, date myself. But um, he he likes her singing and everything. So I, I saw that that's um, a new, she has a new CD out. So I picked that up, and we don't ever, for any holidays, we don't really ever go crazy with anything, but, you know, usually we'll go out to eat or something as a family. And let's see, what else? Oh, I guess this is kind of a big life change for me personally, and my daughter has kind of gotten on board. My puppy is being nosy sticking her nose and everything I'm in my craft room and in a whole nother little spot of my craft room this room has gone through so much and I need to I really need I don't even like I said before you don't want to know what's going on around me <laughs> total chaos and mess and too much stuff but um what does I say oh uh kind of a big lifestyle change for me I have officially become a vegetarian um my daughter and i well blockbuster had a, a free 30-day trial um and if it's free and it's a trial and they guarantee i can get my money back or cancel at any time i'll go for it um so in the, the first film i guess you would call it i don't know that i would actually call it a movie but the first film I had them send to us was uh, Food Inc because I had heard so many people say it's just something you should watch and I thought it would be kind of along the lines of Super Size Me I didn't really know what to expect but <clears throat> for all the times excuse me that I've heard people say you know how terribly they treat animals in our food supply and how filthy it is you know anyway I mean I could hear it over and over and it just didn't ever register until until I actually kind of saw a visual and um that was all it took anyway and my daughter watched it with me and she's kind of on board too I mean you know we're still navigating the waters I guess you might say it's kind of a new thing for us my husband I don't expect anyone around me to get on board with me my husband has been very good for the most part of accommodating um the vegetarian you know meatless meals that I've been preparing um there's been some winners and there's been some thumbs down meals um but it's just like with anything else you don't you just got to, you know, take it one step at a time and learn. So far, I've been enjoying it. I feel better. I feel more energetic, if, you know, whatever that is for me, because I'm just kind of low-key and everything anyway for the most part and laid back. So energy for me is just, I guess, feeling better and not feeling, mm, what what is the word, lethargic as much as usual. Um... <clears throat> Let's see, and I won't go into detail, details because I'm sure there's so many of you that are much more knowledgeable than me on the subject of vegetarianism and animal cruelty and blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into that and what other people do. I, I'm not, you know, I'm pretty much a live and let live person. 
and I'm it's just to each his own where that's concerned so I'm not one of those that are going to be looking down my nose on those who continue to eat meat as my husband is doing and um, in the long run I don't know that how that's going to turn out we might end up going out to eat more often because <laughs> he may want to eat meat more than he's getting around the house but anyway so we'll see how that plays out but um it's been interesting so far and like I say I I don't feel deprived I actually I have to, I will admit that to start off with I'll have to say it's just I, I've kind of been eating more stuff that I shouldn't be eating in terms of sweets and junk food but they are vegetarian they don't have meat <laughs> anyway so it's it's kind of one of those deals I'm gonna have to reel myself back in on that and try to focus on actually eating real food real meals and not get caught up in the well it doesn't have meat in it and even though it's processed you know so I don't want to go there anyway um Let's see, I don't know, other than that, you know, I mean, this is just kind of like, I guess, a catch-up, like I say, there hasn't, you know, nothing, nothing earth-shattering has been going on, I've just been kind of enjoying life, going with the flow, as I usually do, and sometimes I lose focus on things that I'm doing, not unusual for me, um, today we're just gonna, I'm hoping to do more videos now that school's out, and I don't know, the schedule, it, I get so, if I get off of a normal routine, I have such a hard time, I don't know why I have a hard time getting back on track quickly and easily. It takes me a while to regroup and get back on track and back into a routine or into a new routine. I'm, I guess I'm just not a big change person. However, I do get bored easily, so I don't know how those two coexist within me. Um, today, um, whenever my daughter gets up, uh, we're gonna, she wants to go to Cheddar's. We have a, we've started an annual tradition for her birthday. She and I go out to, um, Cheddar's, which is a restaurant. I, I'm assuming it's a, um, a chain type restaurant, but, and I don't know if you have it in your area, but she likes it there. Shake it out, girlfriend. Um... So we're going to do that, and I have a Mount Olympus or whatever size pile of laundry I need to fold, um, and just a few errands, and you know, just enjoy a nice, quiet, relaxing day, and hopefully we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to check in. And I kind of, you know, this, I will have to say about this hairdo, if you can call it that. Um, and I'm, that, I'm not talking about her haircut that she did. I'm just saying yesterday I washed, yesterday morning I washed it. And I put it back in a ponytail. And it dried in the ponytail. And when I took it out, I last night I didn't really brush it out or anything. I just took the hair elastic out. And this morning I woke up, I can see where my hair has curled from the, and I, I don't even know what it looks like in the back. I haven't looked. I probably should. But um, I've noticed my hair, if I contain it when it's wet, it doesn't poof and frizz like it does if I let it kind of just dry, brush it out and let it air dry. And, just, and then I'll go to brush it after it's dried and it poofs and frizzes and everything so um this is just i really all i've done is brush it this morning so and i'm not bragging on it i'm just it amazes me why my hair does because i mean this is look at this this is where my hair my hair <laughs> my hair curled from the ponytail thing whatever you call it, elastic, and over here I have two totally different hair things going on on each side of my head. One side is crazier and puffier than the other, and this, and I'm kind of in transition, I'm kind of 
going darker up and down the hair color scale as I do. And um, anyway, let me keep this as short as possible and I will head on out to my day. Hope you enjoy your day and I hope to be back and see you all more often. And I hope to be able to watch your videos again more often. Hopefully I'll get into some kind of little nice groove with the summertime and um, get to some kind of routine, which is always a good thing for me, or else I get nothing done. But anyway, y'all have a great day, and let me see if I can turn this thing off without... <laughs> I